Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on Java 8 features. In this we will cover method reference which was introduced in Java 8 with examples. So without any further delay, let's start. As we all know that a method is a collection of statements that perform some specific task and return the result to the caller. A method can perform some specific task without returning anything as well. Methods allow us to reuse the code without retyping the code again and again. In this, we will see how to use methods as values. In Java 8, we can use methods as if they were objects or primitive values, and we can treat them as a variable. We use lambda expressions to replace anonymous method in Java that we have already seen in our previous sessions when we discussed about lambda expressions. But at times, a lambda expression does nothing but call an existing method itself. In such cases, it is better to refer to the existing method by name. So method reference is something that enables us to do that. Method references are easy to read lambda expressions for methods that have already a name. So what are the advantages of using method references? Method references make code easy to read and more clean in Java 8. We can group all relevant code in a static method and create a reference to that static method instead. So we can avoid using bulky anonymous inner class or even complex lambda expressions. There are different types of method references which are available. The first one is reference to the static method. So here we will be using the containing class and the static method name in that case. Second one is reference to an instance method of a particular object. Here we will be using the object of that specific class and instance method name as well. The last one that we will be discussing is reference to a constructor. So here we will be using the class name and new keyword here. That new keyword will point to the constructor and we will be able to use uh, the target value to create the objects as well. Now let's see all these types with separate examples. All the coding practice which I have been doing in my all the sessions, that code you can find it on the GitHub as well. I will provide the GitHub link in the description also. Now let's see our first example where we will be using a static method as a method reference. So this is our calculate interface. It is having one abstract method, which is to add two numbers. Now in my mycal class, I already have another method which is static, but it is doing the same thing. It is expecting two arguments and returning an integer, which is the sum of those two passed arguments. In my main class, what I will be doing, I will have a reference object created for my interface, which is a functional interface and using class name and the static method name. So mycal is a class name and this is the double column sign which is used for method reference. So I want to use add method out of my class, mycal class. So in this line specifically, we are assigning the add method logic to the cal reference variable of calculate interface. As we have also learned that the target for method reference should also be a functional interface. That is why we have already declared this calculate interface as a functional interface. We have the method implementation available in the cal and we can use it as an object or as a variable also. So what we will do, we will do cal dot some method. Why some method? Because some method is the method name which is available in um, interface. So let's try to execute this class and see the output. So here you can see the output is 50. The second type was we have to use an instance variable. So here uh, we will be using the similar calculate interface with one abstract method to add the numbers. But in my cal class, now the method is not static. So we will not be able to use it with the class name. So how we will be using it in our main class. First, we will create an object of my cal where the implementation is available and now instead of uh, class name, I will be using that object which I have created to refer to the add method here so, and everything else will be same. Let's try to execute the program and here you can see the output uh, 45 is printed which is sum of 23 and 22. Now the last type of uh, method reference for the constructor level reference. So here, uh, suppose I have this student class, which is having two fields, student ID and student name. Here I have already overridden the two string method to print the student detail. Then I have created both the constructor, uh, no R constructor and argument constructor as well. And I have the getter and setter methods here. 
So here in this case, we will be using a functional interface which will act as a student factory. So we will not be directly uh, creating student object using the new keyword. So here, this is the interface student factory, which is having one single abstract method, which is create student. And it is expecting both the arguments which are expected in students constructor, which is ID and student name. And it is returning the student which will be created. So the JVM will automatically call uh, the constructor of student class based on the arguments which we are passing now let's see the coding in the main class so here earlier you have uh, we were using the method name using either class name or uh, the object name but here we will be using keyword new so here we have student factory uh, reference object created now it is assigned to the value of student colon colon new uh, this will act same as a constructor of student class so that means now we have given the complete logic of constructor of student to student factory now using student factory we can call its method create student which is available in student factory interface and pass on the value like id and name and the return type will be student because we have already seen it is returning a type student and to see if it has actually created students so uh, let's try to print the which student which we have just created so let's try to uh, save and execute the program so here you can see we have passed one and aman as create student detail and here we are able to see both the details here all in the console so this is how you will be able to use method references to make your code clean and more reusable that's it for this video so if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching see you next time